Peppa's house. This is my room. Do you like it? I have lots of toys in the basket. Ah, there you are. Peppa, we're taking you and your friends to Windy Castle. Windy Castle has a very tall tower. We'll get a view of the whole town. You'll see. Hooray! Dinosaur! No, George, I'm afraid there are no dinosaurs up there. Dinosaur! But you can take Mr. Dinosaur with you. Dinosaur! All right, then. Why don't you two go and wait for us in the car while we finish getting ready? Yes, Daddy. We'll go there right away. Let's go to the car. Daddy will drive us to Windy Castle. You have arrived with Pepper and her family at Windy Castle. Wow! I've never seen such a big castle. Come on, let's go inside. The view from the top is amazing. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Looking through the telescope makes everything seem closer. Why don't you take some time to look around? Do you recognize this? It's our house. Oh yes, Daddy. I can see my bedroom window from here. That looks like Granny and Grandpa's house. And look! Granny and Grandpa are outside. Do you think they can see us? <laughs> I don't think so, Peppa. We're very far away from them. Oh! Today would be a perfect day to go to the beach. Look, look! I can see Miss Rabbit in her hot air balloon. She must be waiting to take someone to Snowy Mountain. We found the museum! I love the museum. Dinosaur. <laughs> and there's Snowy Mountain. The view is fantastic. But it seems to be very cold up there. The playgroup. No one's there, though, because it's not playgroup time. Potato City! Can we go, Mummy, please? Of course. Not now, though. We're enjoying Windy Castle today. Mummy! Daddy! Can we come back to Windy Castle soon? Of course, Pepper. I'm glad you had a good time looking through the telescope. I knew you would love it. Windy Castle is a lot of fun. Using the telescope from the top, you can spot many places, even some that are very far away. Pep, 
Pepper's house. Back home. This is my daddy. Why don't we say hello to him? Hello, Pepper. I see you have a new friend. George Dinosaur! <laughs> Granny Pig told me you helped her find all her missing chickens. Well done. <laughs> Let's go, Mr. Potato! <laughs> Do you like Mr. Potato? Pepper does. Mummy Pig, have you seen my glasses? I can't find them anywhere. I don't think I have, Daddy Pig. Peppa, why don't you and your new friend look for Daddy Pig's glasses? They have to be somewhere around the house. Yes, yes, Mummy! We will find the glasses! <laughs> Let's look for the glasses! Daddy, Daddy, we found them! We found the glasses! Have you? That's great, Pepper. Thank you. And thank you. You are a great friend to Pepper. Would you mind turning it back on so I can read? Thank Standing you. Standing still is boring. Let's go somewhere. Why don't we go visit my granny and grandpa? The house is just ahead. Let's keep walking this way. Parents' house. This is my granny and grandpa's house. Grandpa is always in his garden, and granny takes care of the chickens. This is granny and grandpa Pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here. Polly Parrot imitates everything you do. Why don't you try jumping or making a sound? Oh no! Polly's food bowl is empty! She must be pretty hungry. Why don't we go and get some food so we can fill the bowl? Go ahead. 
this way. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Peppa's friend. Hello, Grandpa. Peppa, I think we're going to get hungry while we wait for the vegetables to grow. Would you like to have a meal? Mm, yes, please. Splendid. Then why don't you go fetch some eggs from Granny Pig's coop and bring them to the kitchen? Okay. Grandpa Pig wants you to get some eggs from the chicken coop and take them to the kitchen so he and Granny Pig can cook you a meal. First, let's go to the chicken coop. This way. Hello, children. Hello, Granny. Have you come to check on the chickens? No, no, Granny. Grandpa has sent us to get eggs so we can cook a yummy meal. I see. Why don't you take them yourself? Check inside the little house. Thank you, chicken. Ah, I see you've got some eggs. Now, why don't you take them to the kitchen? I'll go ahead and wait for you there. Granny and Grandpa Pig are waiting for you in the kitchen. Better not make them wait too long. Ah, there you are. I hope you're hungry. I am. Are you hungry? We have delicious hard-boiled eggs for you two. Why don't you sit at the table? Mmm, <coughs> smells delicious. Enjoy your meal, everyone. It's very good. I'm glad you like it, Peppa. I'm sorry, Polly. I don't think these would be good for you. It's very good! Have arrived. But, Grandpa, Granny, where is all the sand? Well, this is a rocky beach. So instead of sand, it's full of rocks. Oh, we wanted to build sand castles. What are we going to do? Don't worry. There are plenty of fun things to do on this rocky beach. If you look around, you will find pools of water between the rocks. It's fun to see what's in them. That's right. When the sea goes out, it always leaves behind something special in the rock pools. Really? What kind of things are we going to find? Why don't you and your friend have a look in the rock pools and put what you find in the bucket? Take a look in the rock pools on the beach and show Granny and Grandpa Pig the things you find. It's a coin. Perhaps it once belonged to a pirate. Whoa! I love pirates. I found a crab in the rock pool. Crab? 
crabs love to hide in rock pools. Be careful not to get your finger pinched. Oh, no. Don't be a naughty crab. Did you know that if you put a shell to your ear, you can hear the sea? Really? Whoa! Congratulations! You have found all the things in the rock pools and have learned a lot about rocky beaches. Are you enjoying your time with Granny and Grandpa Pig? Yes, Mummy! <laughs> That's great. Now how about we find a spot on the sand to sit down? This place seems like a nice spot. Wait a minute. You can't go in like this. Oh, all right. This is Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here. Hello, Mr. Bull. What's going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. 
We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. I'm sure you're very busy. We'd better be on our way. Hmm. Is there a way to go through? Oh, yes. You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Oh, I see. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. Hello, everyone. This is my new friend. Hello. Ah, Pepper. I see you and your friend are already here. Three, two, one. Splendid. Now we go from big to small. Two, one, three. Now it's all jumbled up. Why don't you try it again? One, two, three. This goes from small to big. Very good. It will look great on Pepper's wall. You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. to 
us. Hello, Mr Tree. Please don't say hello, silly. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Tiddles the tortoise? What's he doing up the tree? We need to get him down. Dr Hamster will be so worried that he's missing. Yes, but how do we do that? It's too high up. Let's get Madame Gazelle. She'll know what to do. Madame Gazelle will know what to do to get Tiddles the tortoise back down from the tree. Let's find her in the classroom. We need to do something. Hang on, Tiddles. We're going to get you down in no time. Oh, impossible. It's too high for me. Peppa, why don't you and your friend go and find me a ladder so I can climb up the tree and rescue Tiddles? There's a ladder right outside the playgroup. Help Peppa find the ladder so Madame Gazelle can use it to get Tiddles down. Let's go this way. Whee! Here it is. This is the ladder Madame Gazelle was talking about. You found it. Good job. Oh, here you are, Tiddles. Let's get you down, shall we? There you go, Tiddles. No more climbing today. Hooray! I'll call Dr. Hamster and tell her Tiddles is safe. Thank you all. You did a wonderful job. Now, let's make sure Tiddles doesn't climb up again. Tiddles? Gone again? Oh, Tiddles. <laughs> Good job. Now Tiddles is safe and everyone is having a great time. Hello, Mr. Bull. What's going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. I'm sure you're very busy. We'd better be on our way. Hmm. Is there a way to go through? Oh, yes. You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Oh, I see. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. Pepper, you and your friend have been very busy, haven't you? We've heard you've been helping people around the town. Yes! My friend is very helpful! I see. Well, so are you, Pepper. And because you've been so good, we've decided to take you both to Potato City. I love Potato City! Oh, Potato City, here we come! Daddy Pig, 
Didn't you get a bit dizzy last time you got on the potato rocket? Yes. Well, I'm sure it won't happen this time. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you never learn. Potato City is a magical place full of exciting things where Mr. Potato himself will teach you the importance of vegetables. Go to the car when you're ready and we'll be on our way. Hello, Mr. Bull. What's going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. I'm sure you're very busy. We'd better be on our way. Hmm. Is there a way to go through? Oh, yes! You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Oh, I see. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. Potato City, the place to explore and have fun and learn about the importance of vegetables. Hooray! Ah, we're finally here. It's bigger than I remembered. Hello and welcome to Potato City. Have you come to have fun? Yes, yes. Have you come to explore? Yes, yes. Have you come to learn about the importance of eating fruit and vegetables at least five times a day? Um, yes. Fantastic! Then you are going to have a lot of fun. Remember to visit the whole park. There are plenty of things to do and plenty of things to see. All right then, run along children, have fun. I think I'll skip this one. Okay. Ready? Here we go! I'll definitely skip the second round. Ready? Here we go! Well, Pepper, 
Your friend has been with us for quite some time now. Yes, quite some time indeed. And you've been to so many places together. You've been to our house. <sighs> and you've been to our house. We had a lot of fun, didn't we? Of course. We even went to the beach together. We found many things in the rock pools. Rock pools! Rock pools! And to the forest. You helped poor Tiddles the tortoise in the playground. Hooray! And we went all the way up Snowy Mountain. I took you there. And to the museum. Did you enjoy our trip to the moon? I always do. I've been seeing you running around the town for some time now. It's always nice to see new faces. <laughs> we got a good view of the whole town from Windy Castle, too. What a lovely view it was. And I'm happy to have met you now that you've come here to Potato City. Well, I've had a lot of fun, thanks to you. You're my friend forever. Friend forever. Friend forever. Thank you. 